These six things are so annoying and frustrating when it comes to moving to and living in Cyprus. In fact, there is one thing that annoys me so much every time that sometimes I'm even thinking about leaving the country because of it. Hey everybody, it's Rikugo and in this video I'm going to talk about why you should not move to Cyprus if you can't handle these six things. Now, before some people misunderstand me, I don't make this video because I don't like Cyprus. I love Cyprus, but because I'm an independent content creator, I can say whatever I want and think here on this channel. And this is what I'm doing in this video, because obviously Cyprus also has some bad sides. We are going to discuss that right now. Number one, you will experience some earthquakes. I'm coming from Germany and their earthquakes basically don't exist. I never experienced an earthquake until I moved to Bali first. And there I experienced my first earthquake and it was definitely a weird feeling. When you talk about earthquakes in Germany, people think about the earth cracking up and buildings getting destroyed and everything, but in reality it can be just a little shake. And this is the case here in Cyprus. Sometimes during the night you will wake up because there is an earthquake and it will shake you a little bit. The strongest earthquake in Cyprus I experienced so far was in 2022. It had a magnitude of 6.6, .6, which is definitely strong. And it was a very weird feeling, I still remember it, but it was just for like two, three minutes. And luckily nothing happened. But Cyprus definitely had worse earthquakes in the past that had much worse consequences. And you can look that up on Wikipedia. Number two, gun regulations. Comparing the gun regulation between Germany and Cyprus, it's as different as black and white. In Germany, getting a gun is very, very hard. And I know it from my own experience because my father is a hunter and in order to get a gun license and maintain it, he has to know all kinds of animals in the forests, birds, mushrooms, everything about the gun. And he has to be able to shoot very well, of course. Here in Cyprus, on the other hand, I don't know it from my own experience, but what I've heard so far is that it can be as simple as paying some money and then you can get a shotgun for hunting. But also what I've heard here in Cyprus is that the hunters don't respect the hunting seasons, they don't respect the hunting areas and so it's all basically a big mess in the mountains and you don't want to go for a walk there. At least not in a wolf costume. <laughs> Number three, amazing beaches here in Cyprus exist, but they are rare. When you Google Cyprus, you just see these amazing beach photos with crystal clear blue water and uh, you just wanna jump into the water. But when you arrive here in Cyprus, what you will get most of the times is seaweed, rocks, cliffs, tourists everywhere. But I'm not saying that these amazing crystal clear beaches here in Cyprus don't exist. I'm saying they are rare and you need to know where they are. And for that, I have this video where I will tell you the best beaches here in Cyprus and you can watch it right here. And now number four, you will get sunburn. <laughs> Let's stay at the beach and let's talk about the fact that you will get sunburned no matter what. Everyone with a skin like me will be basically a red tomato. And I'm making fun of it, but it's really a serious topic actually. So you should definitely be prepared. The sun here in Cyprus is very strong and you should definitely use sun protection and not stay in the sun for too long during the day. Especially when living here in Cyprus, you will have 320 sunny days per year. So you need to be careful. Sun is amazing. Yes, of course, don't get me wrong. I also love being at the beach, but I'm also aware of the side effects of being in the sun for too long, especially over multiple years. And this is where basically the side effects come into play. And now number five, you shouldn't expect a high salary. When people move to Cyprus, I always tell them that they shouldn't expect a high salary. The average salary here in Cyprus is very low, whereas the living costs here in Cyprus, they rise and rise. A lot of locals actually have struggles paying their fixed costs here in Cyprus. And so if you plan to move to Cyprus, definitely do your calculations, especially if you want to do a local job. But if you're an entrepreneur and you have your own company, then Cyprus can be actually one of the best countries to move to because of the tax benefits that I'm discussing here in this video. And now let's talk about the thing that personally annoys me the most and that sometimes just makes me frustrated. Number six, you truly need to become relaxed. 
a lot of things here in Cyprus are very slow and they even have a local saying that goes siga siga which basically means slowly slowly and they use it for <laughs> almost everything. I mean I respect their lifestyle and culture of course but this is something I really just can't get used to. Being born in Germany I'm used to getting things done fast and professionally as soon as possible but unfortunately here in Cyprus this is not really the case. If I want to get something done here in Cyprus, not all the times, but most of the times it's a struggle. <laughs> Example, I'm moving to a new place and most of the things I can do myself, but I need a new internet provider, a Wi-Fi router and also some furniture and some service providers. So I go to the internet provider and I ask them, hey, can you install the internet for me? They say yes, in three days we will come and I know with absolute certainty no one will come in three days. And then I call them and no one knows the status, no one knows who I am and I have to explain everything again. The same goes for ordering stuff online like furniture for example or a service provider. We appoint a date, they say this date, this time and I go there and no one knows what's up. Or no one delivers the furniture. Within the last four years of living here in Cyprus, I had this situation way too often. I was basically standing there like bestellt und nicht abgeholt. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a saying we have in Germany. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, sometimes I really feel like people just don't respect my time here. And I hate when people don't respect me. But okay, these examples I gave are still acceptable, it's nothing too bad, but it's really serious when we are talking about our health. If I, my family, my cat, my girlfriend, whoever has a serious health issue, I want everyone to take it seriously and act upon. And I remember that I once did a blood test here in Cyprus in the hospital and they told me that they will call me the next day. But no one called me, not even three days after. So I had to go there just to find out that they somehow forgot me. How is that even possible? Luckily the blood test was completely normal. But what if I would have a critical health issue? No one would have told me. So, if you want to move to Cyprus, definitely be prepared to double check everything and if you want to know how to move to Cyprus, definitely make sure to watch this video where I will explain everything about how to move to Cyprus, incorporate the company for tax benefits and I will see you there.